Amen, somebody. And that's what's wrong with a lot of people. They want to run out and do ministry and they have never been what? Right. Jesus didn't send his disciples out and didn't train them. Say amen. Amen. Does somebody got to be trained in the word? Got to be trained in the word. Paul spent 12 years being trained by the Holy Ghost. 12 years. Didn't preach, didn't teach, didn't have Bible class. 12 years. Baddest disciple that ever lived. Somebody say amen. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a what? Living hope. What kind of hope? Living hope. Jesus came to you, I have what? I have a what? Life. Present your body, Romans chapter 12, verse 1, present your body a what? Holy and what? Acceptable. What does God want you to do? No, no. He wants you to live. You ought, you ought to put your hand on your own head and say, I want to live. I want to live. The enemy come to what? Steal. So it, all lies, all untruths are designed to kill you and take away all of your hope. He don't want you to have no hope. He does not want you to live. He wants you to be frustrated for the rest of your life. He wants you to be like a rat in a cage, running around trying to figure out how do I get out of this next situation. You go from the frying pan to the skillet to boiling water. And you're in church. And you love God. And you're dying of stress. Heart attacks, worry, frustration, fear with oppression, and anger, and anxiety. Can't even put a smile on your face. You say, yet not alive. And because you're so hungry, you're so hungry, your flesh is so on fire, the devil sell you alive. And the Bible says the carnal mind is that enmity, is that enmity with God. And it leads to death. It'll kill your joy, kill your purpose, kill your destiny, kill your happiness, kill your marriage, kill your husband, kill your family. It'll get all in your heart. Say it, speak it in other tongues. It's killing your children. Because you won't get it in the Word. Can you say that one more time, please? <laughs> please. It's killing me. And God said, I came that you might have what? Life. So he wants you to what? Change your mind about what's important. Amen. What's important to you when you rise in the morning? What's important when you go to bed at night? What's important? Is it the word? Is it relationship with God? Amen, sir. The Bible says that he'll keep him in the book of Isaiah. He'll keep him in perfect peace whose mind is Make a good sense? So tonight, listen, tonight, your thoughts, tell somebody my thoughts, you're going to have to take ownership of them. You can't just let your mind just wander around like a dog with no chain. The Bible says, bring every thought into what? Captivity. To the obedience of Christ. You want to grab them thoughts down and you want to make them become obedient to the word of God. Amen. You don't want your thoughts running rampant. 
You don't want to be meditating on things that are not of God. You want to change how you think. And so you got to change what goes into your mind. Amen. You can't change what's on your mind until you change what goes in it. Amen. True. Amen. What's on your mind? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes um, you can, if you got a Facebook, like I've got Facebook, Lord help me. Yeah. You, you see what's on people's mind. Amen. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You see their meditation? What's on their mind? Worry, fret, amen. And they have these little, these little witty little sayings that don't make no sense. <laughs> amen, somebody. How, how many like that? Keep calm. I like that one. Keep calm. Right. You can't keep calm without the word. Amen. You're gonna be out your out of your mind. <laughs> amen, somebody. You ever know, keep calm for the doctor come in and tell you some news? I see people lose it all the time. They can't keep calm. They're not keeping calm. Now they're killing each other. Amen. Amen, somebody. Stabbing one another with knives and forks over a piece of potato. Y'all not going to talk to me anymore. That's true. Keep calm. How are you going to keep calm? But the joy of the Lord is your strength. You don't, you're not with the Lord. Amen. Thank you. You can't keep calm. You cannot, you cannot have spiritual fruit birthed out of the flesh. Amen. Anyway, come on, stand on your feet. Thank Amen. You can give him praise for that. Yeah. Amen. Don't nobody else get this tape. I'm going to give it. Oh, bless my own soul. So, so listen, listen, listen. We got to go. We got, we got, we got to get out of here. Get the best offering that you can tonight. Well, so, tell somebody I want to be free. I want to be free.